Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to animate this animation of a dog, a cartoon dog, using reference footage. This is the second uh, version. It's a little more cartoony than the reference footage. And I wanted to show you guys how you can take the reference footage just for the mechanics of the animation and build upon it or customize it to what you need. So this is a very cartoony dog. I'm gonna stop the animation. and show you all the layers that I've done here. First of all, here is the reference footage. Here's the reference footage. That's just my dog I shot. I shot the video in the backyard. And then this is the sketch lines that I did. And let me turn off the video so you can see the sketch lines. I just went, I just went with what was on the video and I traced it. And I traced the sketch lines. Um, I traced the video with the sketch lines. I'm going to turn it off again so we can see. Uh, and then I drew the lines. Here we go. And so it looks a lot like her, uh, even though I made her face a little cartoony, but I wanted to push the limit and make it very, very cartoony. And so I did the sketches for this one, for this one. Let me turn off the sketches and the lines. So I did the sketches for that one more and more cartoony and it's even a different dog it's not even a cocker spaniel it's a different dog so i again drew it out added the ground and that's what you have so let's go ahead and get started guys i just opened up blender and we're going to click on 2d animation get a 2d animation scene going at a grease pencil scene just gonna zoom out a little bit. And the first thing I like to do is bring in the reference footage. So I'm gonna go to object mode. I'm gonna hit add image reference. And in here, I'm going to go to, so in my reference folder, uh, I don't see my footage. And it's because I, I do have to turn on movie files as well. Uh, and there's my reference video dog load reference image here it is i'm going to scale it move it down what i'm also going to do is lower the opacity if i go to the object data properties i could turn on transparency and lower the opacity right there. Now I can click on my stroke again, go back to draw mode, grab my pencil, and then I am going to draw with a red stroke. And then I'm going to add a sketch layer. I'm gonna add a sketch layer And I'm going to put that sketch layer uh, on the bottom by clicking these little arrows. And there it is. I'm going to lock the other ones because I don't want to mess with them. And I'm going to go ahead and... And I'm going to go ahead and draw on this sketch layer. I'm on frame one. And what I'm going to do is start drawing right on that sketch layer in the stroke object. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to not draw the dog realistically. I'm going to draw a cartoon dog. Just so you guys can see that you can draw anything you want and use the reference footage just as reference for the animation and the, and the mechanics of how the dog moves. So I, here I, I'm going to start drawing. I am going to look for the first frame that the dog kind of starts moving 
it just runs off. It's about 48 frames. And she starts moving at about frame 15. That's where I'm going to start. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to start drawing my dog right there. I'm going to be drawing on twos every other frame. And so I'm going to get started sketching it. Uh, but then I'm going to speed up the process. I'm going to speed the video up so you guys, uh, the video doesn't take too long. And so here I am. Let me go ahead and draw what I have in mind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the strength 100%. And then I'm going to start drawing the head. Maybe just a little bit bigger. Uh, the snout. Maybe just a little bit smaller. I'm going to draw a little smile. Remember, this is a cartoon character, so... And then the neck. And so here's the nose, here's the eyes, and the eyebrow. I'm going to draw like a little hair, and then the big ear, and I'm just going to interpret the back. I'm going to draw it very, very simple. Remember, it's a cartoon dog. The tail, and then I'm going to draw what I think is a cartoon paw, like that. Here, I'm going to do the chest, and then I'm going to do the other arm, and then the other leg, I can't see it, but I'm just going to assume that it's there, and the other paw, it will be right here. Let's turn off, let's turn off the background for just a minute, I'm going to turn it off here in the outliner and I want to see what that looks like that looks good what I could do is maybe straighten this up this looks a little off All right, that's my first frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to 17 every two frames. Turn this back, turn the reference footage back up. And uh, just start drawing the next uh, frame. And then I'm gonna draw all the frames up to uh, frame 48 when he's out of the scene. So I'm just gonna speed up the video. I'm gonna continue drawing every other frame uh, I'm not going to edit anything out. Everything will be in the video. It's just going to be uh, a little faster.
So let's see what that looks like. So there we've finished the sketches. I'm just going to zoom out a bit and turn off the reference footage and just see what it looks like. I am also going to finish this at 48 and hit the space bar C. There we go. So like, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna take you guys through the actual process of getting a final drawing. Uh, not in color, but uh, at least an ink line. So let's get to it. I'm gonna stop this. And I'm going to copy this frame and paste it on frame one. So now we hit the space bar, he's sitting there and then he moves. Somebody calls him and then he moves. Well, I'm also going to turn on the, just briefly, so that we can get a sketch line on the on the horizon, the, the, the ground level, there it is. Okay, we put the we put the uh, ground line in there. Just for reference, we're gonna probably do a little bit of grass in a separate layer. So let's get started inking this, and I will draw one out in real time, and then we'll probably speed up the process because I've got a bunch of frames I need to draw. So I'm gonna stop this, go back to frame one and start inking. Remember, I have to now go to my lines layer and then lock the sketch layer, grab an ink pen, and then go ahead and get a solid. I'm gonna zoom in on this. I'm also going to make this layer, go to the stroke properties, make it uh, a little bit less opaque just so that I can draw the dog the ink lines and then start drawing so I want to go ahead and start drawing I'm just going to follow the sketch being a little bit more careful now And there it is. There's my first sketch. I'm going to speed up the video now and I'm going to draw all of the frames that I need to draw. And then I will see you when I'm done.
All right, let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna zoom out. Turn off the sketch layer off and hit the space bar. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put the ground line. I might move it down a little bit because it's right on his on her face. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna speed up the video and then uh, I'll probably finish this up. All right, let's see what that looks like. But that's it, let me turn off the sketch so you can see the whole thing. And that's what we were going to do. We, we used the reference footage. Here is the reference footage. We'll turn it on and we've animated we made her car cartoony because it was a cartoony um, cartoon dog. But we used the reference footage for her animation. And there it is. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you have fun um, animating your pet. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.